This is Spoken Gospel. We are dedicated to seeing Jesus in all of Scripture. In each episode, we see what's happening in a biblical text and how it sheds light on Jesus and His Gospel. Let's jump in. Much of Proverbs is made up of individual or small collections of sayings meant to be enjoyed in isolation from the verses around them. But it's also valuable to zoom out and collect all that Proverbs teaches about a particular topic. Today, we'll look at pride and humility. The book of Proverbs is blunt about pride. God hates it. God is dedicated to tearing down the homes of the proud with the same ferocity that he protects the humble. Solomon warns his readers that God will punish prideful people. God hates pride because pride is never private. Pride inevitably leads to violence, and that violence is normally directed at the weak, timid, and disadvantaged. This is why some Proverbs contrast God's destruction of the proud with his protection of the disenfranchised. The antidote to pride is humility. Solomon says we get both humility and wisdom when we fear the Lord. In fact, humility comes before wisdom, just like pride comes before a fall. Proverbs tells us humility is wisely refusing to trust our claims about right and wrong, leaving those determinations entirely to God. When we humbly accept God's word and instruction above our own, we gain honor and avoid shame. Jesus, in one of his confrontations with the Pharisees, calls out their massive pride. Their pride causes them to neglect the poor. It even shows up in their seating arrangements. So Jesus tells a story about a wedding where a guest presumes upon his relationship with the groom and sits at the family's table, only to be shamed and humiliated when asked to sit elsewhere. We are just like the proud Pharisees. We presume our place in history. We assume our intelligence or some other qualification or life experience grants us the authority to sit wherever we want. And our favorite seat is normally the one that decides between wisdom and foolishness, between right and wrong. But both Jesus and the book of Proverbs warn us that it's like sitting in the groom's chair at a wedding. Everyone will watch as we're seated where we truly belong. Those who exalt themselves will be humbled. But Jesus also says those who humble themselves will be exalted. On the cross, Jesus takes the lowest and most humiliating seat at the table. Jesus died a shameful death for crimes he did not commit, for pride that he did not have. But God raises Jesus from the dead and seats a humble Jesus in a place of honor. He guarantees humility's final reward. When we humble ourselves, we're promised that we will experience honor instead of shame. God raises us from our low place and seats us at his right hand in heavenly places. May the Holy Spirit open your eyes to see the God who is humble. And may you see Jesus as the one entrusted with God's wisdom so that we might receive his honor.